Yeah, Blinky, if you were kneeling down in uh, Zomanski's corner right now with uh, eight rounds behind you and only two to win this fight, what are you telling her? I tell her, listen to me, Beverly, you need to go out there and let your hands go. When you get inside, don't wrap up with her. Don't allow her to wrap you up. Keep your hands busy. Go after that body attack and then double it up the left hand of the body and to the head. The problem is that uh, Beverly Zemanski has not been able to cut that ring off and slow down Bonnie Canino. And how about Canino? Bert Rodriguez, he has to know his fighter is ahead, but what do you do with the fighter in the last closing rounds and you know you're ahead? Drew Lewis. He comes that jab and then the counter by Zemanski, and that's what her corner's been asking her to do, Phil, to so counter off of the counters of Canino, and there she was able to get that big back, left back, hook back. off. I'm sure that Bert Rodriguez and Bonnie Canino's corner has asked her, just keep doing the same thing. Don't get careless, boxer. Get in and get out. It will be curious to hear uh, Bonnie Canino and her interpretation of this fight. Nice combination by Canino, and that's what Bert Rodriguez was asking her for. She was able to throw that jab, come back with a straight left hand, right hook. All right, let's go break it. Step back, girl. Come on, man. Come on. Standing again. Watch out. Who attempted left, left hook by Beverly Zemanski. It didn't find a home, but I'll tell you that man, she's got some sock on that left hook. She's gonna really have to take some chances now, talking about Beverly Zemanski stuff. Yeah, and she's got a chance to win this fight. She's plotting towards her, and she's not letting her hands go. And I'm sure her corner has asked her to let them hands go. Don't hold, don't hold, don't hold. Break, step back clean. This is the ninth round for these featherweights. Straight hand of the body by Zemanski. I think Zemanski has been frustrated most of this fight. The Bonnie Canino style, the way she gets in and out. There's a man who didn't have the left hook, but clean. Bonnie usually once she gets hit with one shot, she'll she'll tie Let's you up, box. and then she'll get back on her on her wheels and she'll start throwing that long jab and pull out whenever she feels that she landed a couple of shots. Straight left by Camino. Final seconds of this ninth round. What a tremendous gathering here at the Grand Casino Theater. Thus far, they've seen a unanimous decision go in favor, favor of Zamoran, a first round TKO by Fridia Gibbs, and what a fight here. There is Bonnie Canino as she gets set to go to work in round number 10. No question, Phil, to a packed house tonight, standing room only here at the Grand Casino Biloxi, and event and entertainment has really put a great show together. I think you made a good point, Blinky, in the ninth round when you said this is the time for uh, Zemanski's corner out of the uh, cough gym in Detroit, just to let her know the hard facts are you've got to go for it. Without a knockout, you lose the fight. No question, Phil. So she's got to throw caution to the wind and give it everything she's got here in this final tenth round. She's taken the best shots that Bonnie Canino has hit with her with. She knows that she can, you know, take the shots. She's got to really weigh in and let her hands go. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff she needs to have been doing earlier in the fight. She let her hands go inside, then you see Canino tie her up, and I think that's where the frustration is, Phil. Just missed on that uh, right uppercut, did Canino. Don't hold, don't hold, get out of there. Don't hold, Con. Chopping right hand by Canino. Good exchange by, by Canino there. You see her pivot right around and get some movement. And that's her fight, Phil. Bonnie Canino is fighting her classic fight. She gets in, she gets out. She's a boxer puncher type of fighter. When she gets inside, if you hit her with a good shot, she'll tie you up. And there you see her tied up with the left arm once again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's box. 
nice right hook by Panino, right off the chin of Zemanski. Zemanski's got a chin, Phil. Yes, she does. She took a straight left hand just a moment ago and didn't even flinch. They take nothing away from Beverly Zemanski, Flinky. She came in well prepared to take on one of the toughest fighters in the division. No question about it, Phil. It's a big, big fight tonight. It's on live pay-per-view. You got a full house here. They come in under enormous pressure. She's not been able to find her range tonight. And even there, missing the right hand left hook that Canino spins off. And we are using that experience that she has. I break clean. Get out, girl. I'm sure her corner's very pleased with her performance. Good straight left hand again by Canino. Rock Zemanski. What a way to say goodbye. Bonnie Canino and Zeminski lands one to the chin at the final bell. Whoa, what a fight. Now, Beverly Zemanski, I don't know who she lost to, Blinky, with a record of four and two. She's got three knockouts, but... Uh, She's a tough, tough, tough customer. No question. Well, coming from the Crown Gym, they got a lot of tough people running around that gym. Yes. Phil and, and Beverly Zemanski. Then you got Canino coming back with that right, that right hook right off the side of the head of Kamansky. And then she pivots right away so that there's nobody there for Zemanski to be able to counter off of. The man's saying, you know, I'm here tonight to fight. I got to find a way to get something in. And right towards the end of the round here in, in the 10th Sorry. round, you see Zemanski landing that left hook. And I'm sure she wants to land a lot more of them tonight, Phil. Yeah, she landed that left hand at the exact moment the bell rang. And uh, I'm wondering if Canino even heard the bell with the uh, way that punch landed flush on her chin. A whale of a fight. Bonnie Canino hoping to go seven and one and walk out of here with the IFBA featherweight championship. Beverly Zemanski out of Marine City, Michigan. You talk about determination. This is a lady, as I said earlier in the fight, that travels a hundred miles to train at the Kronk Gym. Now that's dedication. How many men would travel a hundred miles to get to their trainer? Now let's go to the ring. Danny Valdivia has the decision. I will read the scorecards. Judge Paul Cita scored the bout 98-92. Judge Chester Como scored the bout 98-93. Judge C.D. Jenkins scored the bout 99-93. The winner by unanimous decision and new IFBA featherweight champion, Bonnie the Cobra Canino. <laughs>